The Israeli economy is a diversified one. Israel has a modern infrastructure. Many Western countries compete in the high-tech sector. The country's main economic sectors are high technology, manufacturing, and the diamond industry. Israel's almost complete dependence on energy imports. That may change after the recent discoveries of huge reserves of natural gas off the coast of Israel. In this video, we show you the largest current and future projects in Israel. But first share the video and subscribe to the channel. After carrying out exploration work in the Tamar and Leviathan gas fields in the eastern Mediterranean, Israel has seen a boom in natural gas development. Israel has become a natural gas exporter. After completing the project, Mubadala Petroleum will become a natural gas-oriented investment portfolio to accelerate the energy transition. The company has already started operations in the Zor gas field in the eastern Mediterranean. The investment is valued at $1.025 billion. The cable will cross the Mediterranean seabed. It has a total length of about 1,500 kilometers and a maximum depth of 2,700 meters. It is the longest and deepest undersea cable in history. The capacity of the cables will reach from 1,000 megawatts to 2,000 megawatts. The project will cover three parts of the Mediterranean. It is expected to be completed in 2024. The cost of the project is expected to be about 900 million US dollars. The first phase is expected to come into use in 2025. This project will be implemented by the Israel Highways Authority. It aims to build a railway linking Ashdod and Dalat in the Gulf of Aqaba. It includes passenger terminals in Beersheba, Dimona, Sapir, Ketura Ramon, and Dalat four charging stations and eight charging rings. Certain parts of the route have longer tracks for freight trains. So the track length of freight trains is 260 kilometers. While the passenger services route is only 240 kilometers long. It is expected that the project will cost about 24.6 billion shekels. It is estimated that by 2030, passenger volume will reach 5.2 million passengers annually. The goal of the project is to achieve renewable energy levels by 2030. The project will be built near Dimona. For the first time in such projects, it will include dedicated energy storage systems as part of a solar project. The field will cover 3,000 acres of open space. It will generate 300 megawatts of electricity. More than any other solar farm in the country. Construction is expected to begin in 2021 and be completed in 2023. Israel will build hundreds of wind turbines in its northern region. This is an important step in promoting wind energy in Israel. The project will enable wind turbines to operate in the Golan Heights. Without disrupting routine operations in the air, wind energy will be combined with solar energy and natural gas to create a clean source of renewable energy. It will improve the Israeli economy in the field of basic electricity to reach the renewable energy target by 2030. The project cost is estimated at $72 million. Modine project is ready made of 30 sets. It is a residential construction project located in the city of Modin, central Israel. With a total area of 8,000 square meters. Construction is scheduled to begin in March 2021. This project is the fourth project in the Israeli market. This lays a solid foundation for the project to take root in the local market. In order to improve core competitiveness. The project team will improve the level of business. And the development of skilled composite talents in Israeli contracts. The Israeli city of Tel Aviv presents an important transportation project. Implementation of the project on a road with a length of 12 kilometers. It will convert Highway 461 into light transport by rail instead of cars and trucks. This work includes the construction of new underground walkways, bridges, 
and pedestrian crossings. This work is important as it will help reduce travel time and traffic congestion in the area. The project also includes the construction of a car park and recreational facilities that can accommodate 2,000 cars. This part of the project will cost $87 million. Greece, Cyprus and Israel agreed to establish the electrical interconnection project between Europe and Asia to start a network link project in three countries. A 500 kV submarine cable will be laid between Israel, Cyprus, Crete and Attica in Greece. The total length of the cable is about 1,500 km. The deepest point is 3,000 m below sea level. It will be the longest in the world. The project cost is estimated at 3.5 million euros. Still in the process of preparing for bidding. It is expected to be operational in 2025. The goal of this project is to develop an operating system and manufacture of sensors that can be installed in existing tanks. For this tank to be unique, because its interior design includes large touch screens and has a 360 degree view, the tank could eventually reach the automation stage. Israel will build the first waste-to-energy facility. The facility will be built in the recycling park in Male Edom, near Jerusalem. It is expected to serve as a central waste disposal facility. The site will contain innovative waste sorting facilities and advanced energy recovery facilities. It will be used to generate electricity under strict environmental conditions at a cost of approximately $285 million. The goal of the project is to tap local talent. It will establish a research and development center in Israel to lead the development of artificial intelligence and big data technologies and its applications in multiple sectors such as banking services, healthcare, public safety and others. In your opinion, these projects are the best in Israel. Are there projects that we did not mention? Write it in the comments. Here we come to the end of the video. Share the video and subscribe to the channel.